In 1803, Thomas Jefferson bought what is now northeastern Colorado, including all of Larimer County as part of the Louisiana Purchase. In 1861, the federal government created the Colorado Territory, with Larimer County as one of the original 17 counties. William Larimer arrived with the 1858 Gold Rush to promote Colorado as the most picturesque country in the world. Larimer boasted in a November 19, 1859 letter, Gold is everywhere here, and very good farming country with plenty of yellow pine. Larimer began raising volunteers for the Union side during the Civil War. Although William Larimer was gone, his namesake Larimer County survived. Since its 1861 creation, Larimer County has attracted immigrants from all over the world. 19th century Larimer County became a network of trails and wagon roads, including the Cherokee and Overland Trails. Due to its importance as a transportation hub, the area came under protection of Union troops. Defending the Cache Lapooter area in Larimer County fell to Lieutenant Colonel William Collins. Following the death of his young wife and fearful that his own health was failing, he struck out for the West in 1833. When the Civil War broke out in 1861, he wrote to the War Department in Washington, offering to recruit and train a regiment of volunteers. The military responded by authorizing him to proceed. Collins received orders to protect the Overland Mail Company's property, employees, and routes, which had been shifted to Larimer County. He set up a military camp beside the Cashlapooter River. His troops named their new post Camp Collins in honor of their commanding officer. On August 20, 1864, Collins received orders authorizing the relocation of the post several miles downstream at a more favorable spot on the south bank of the river. This order would give birth to a new western city. The new site quickly grew into a large military post and was renamed Fort Collins in October 1864. Settlers occupied land near the fort in today's Old Town Fort Collins. Building lots could be purchased for $50, $100, and $150 to settlers with good moral character. The turn of the century would bring big changes to Fort Collins. The main street in town, College Avenue, has itself gone through many changes, yet it remains the central nerve system running through Fort Collins. By the time this photograph was taken in the mid-1930s, the main downtown intersection had a traffic light. For quite a few years, it was the only one in town. By the late 1940s, the city had more than one sheriff and a full force of peace officers. Shown here in 1964, Fort Collins celebrated its 100 years of existence. Residents gathered to watch an historical parade For many years, the town had only one high school. While others have been built, Fort Collins High School maintains its rich history and tradition.